The 2022 Nigerian Army Day Celebration Grand Finale, held at the MDVC Carlos Square, Owere, marked the end of one week of activities geared towards assessing and advancing the activities of the Nigerian Army in the effort at achieving a secured country. President Muhammad Buhari, who was represented by the Minister of Defense, Major General Bashiru Magashi retired, commended the Nigerian Army for their competence and professionalism in the discharge of their constitutional responsibilities. He says the challenges of insecurity and insurgency are not common to Nigeria alone, noting that the Nigerian Army has shown commitment in containing the activities of those who pose a threat to the peace and unity of the country. The Nigerian Army was employed to achieve digital and global security as a key contributor to international peacekeeping efforts. Groups of the Nigerian Army also fought gallantly during the civil war. For the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Farouk Yahaya, the Nigerian Army has lived up to its role as enshrined in the Constitution. He acknowledges that terrorism has been greatly contained through the efforts of the Nigerian Army in collaboration with other security forces. I have directed my commander at all levels must sensitize their troops to remain professional while performing their duties. Governor Hope Uzodem admits that the Nigerian Army in its 459 years of existence has moved from a primitive to a technologically advanced force promising that the most state government will sustain the partnership with the army. Today in Nigeria, we have a way civilized, a way developed, and a very competent army. The event featured display of military equipment, combat readiness activities, and presentation of scholarship awards to children of fallen heroes, as well as presentation of vehicles to well-deserving officers. In Oweri, Beatrice Anyam. NTA News.